Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading and it will be from now until the end of May 2021 as I am releasing these a little bit early Virgo. Um, it will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy in money and career only for May 2021. So what do we have please Angel Spirits Guides for Virgo? Thank you. Two cards. So, Virgo, we have the Tower and the Page of Swords. Tower is a neutral energy for me as a reader. So, uh, yeah. So, what do we have for Virgo, please? So, I have Compassion. Interesting, I had that for Taurus as well, I think. And angels, what is the message for Virgo, please, in terms of money and career? So I have, have courage to ask for and accept help. Asking for help is a sign of strength, as is accepting it as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. Okay. And we have that right next to compassion. So it definitely feels for some of you, there is help on hand. Uh, I'm going to pull five cards, Virgo. We'll clarify where we need to first card being the challenge position. So what do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides in money and career only. So we have death in the challenge position. Ten of Cups, Virgo, is what's going for you. Very nice energy. Uh, the Temperance is... Any obstacles to overcome. The Star, oh my goodness, that is a beautiful one to have in advice from Spirit. And your Outcome, Virgo, we have the Strength card. I'm going to clarify the Strength card. Let's clarify the strength card. No, just one card, please. Let's clarify the strength card for Virgo. Thank you. Yeah. Seven of cups. Very nice. Okay. Okay, Virgo. So... There's an energy here the tower and the page of swords so there's news that's going to bring big change now the tower like I said is I mean that, that could be happy change for you it could well be some news that's difficult to deal with you know the tower is generally in a, in a sense of tearing down of the old it's the liberating energy here because this tower wasn't meant to stand the test of time we build many towers and tear down many towers in our lives it's the cycle of life and it's how we evolve as people and in this situation it feels that there is some new path that you're being guided towards therefore the old has to be torn down so it feels for some of you that there is a big big news big news that brings change this month the message is ask for help help is on hand and the universe works through other people as well, which it does. So there's definitely this energy here of maybe for some of you, there could be somebody of influence this month who is giving you a helping hand. Yeah. Now the death card um, is a card of endings. For some of you, 
it could well be that you've been dealing with some kind of ending. This could be, you know, the, the death card is a card of Scorpio. It's a card of out with the old, in with the new. It is moving from one phase of your life to another, but purging that which you don't need. There's a cathartic energy with death. It's about shedding an old skin. Um, it's about liberation, release, and rising in your true colours once more. Rising from the ashes of the old. And it definitely feels like the old is being torn down here. So it feels very beautiful next to the Ten of Cups. Which is the Rainbow of Blessings card for me as a reader. Yes, this is the Happy Ever After card, Blissful Relationships. But it's also a card of... It feels this tower is aligning you to this beautiful path, this, this Ten of Cups. It's a card of productivity, the Ten of Cups. The Rainbow of Blessings. So it definitely feels in this energy there's greater happiness. Blessings coming your way. Something may have ended here, but it feels that there's greater blessings coming your way, Virgo. I have to say, I'm going to clarify that Ten of Cups. Yeah. You know, I, you know this, this feels very good. This is the new path. This is the new path. The Ace of Coins, or the Ace of Pentacles, is new opportunity in terms of finance or career. So it could be good news in terms of loans, um, good news in terms of green lights, in terms of uh, a job offer, a business offer, you manifesting a new business. It's a card of productivity. So what you're being productive with now is bringing the beginnings of abundance your way. You know, it feels like you've dealt with some ending here. But what I'm definitely getting, and I don't feel the negative energy with this tower, I feel that there's big news that brings change. And in, did I say the helping hand before with you? Because this is the helping hand card. <laughs> it's a gift. You're being offered a gift. And it's aligned to the right path. Lovely energy, Virgo. The temperance card is just finding that, you know, it's, it's that period of adapting. Um, an interesting temperance comes after the death card. So it just feels, okay, I'm just finding my way through this situation. I'm having to adapt. I'm having to adjust. You know, it's how we kind of like, you know, when there's kind of like very um, uh, opposing forces, and it's almost kind of like how you, you steer your boat through the middle. You know, how you find the solution the way through the middle. How you adapt to find your flow again. And it definitely feels in this situation that's what you're doing. It's an obstacle to overcome, but I'm seeing this temperance overcoming the ending. And that's the obstacle to overcome. How you adjust and how you adapt now is of paramount importance. But there's absolutely an energy of you will find your flow. You will understand the things that you need to do to get balance back. There's a level of patience with this, so don't expect too much of yourself. Um, but it is just about everything in moderation. It is just about finding that way through. <sighs> because this alignment energy, I love it. You know, the star is about hope, faith, renewal, optimism. The path that you're on, you're being given a helping hand here. You're being shown compassion. There could be somebody in your life who is helping you as well, who plays a key role this month. Um, but I also think the universe is because this is a blessing energy. You are being blessed. The path that you are finding opening for you is a blessed one. If you continue to take action towards it, the star is all about the purpose, the direction. Um, this is the way forward. This is what you're meant to do. This is the path that you're supposed to be on. 
there's definitely an energy of that there's blessings on this path and i feel there could be some new opportunity here golden opportunity that is for you so virgo there's a message of stay in your power this is about finding your strength in times of change finding your strength in something that has ended here a road has run out but a new road is starting and know that this is very much connected to your hopes dreams and wishes the the seven of cups can be about choices decisions here and the message is to trust your intuition because you're being guided on how you adjust now and find that path forward find this new beginning because you have more options than you realize these strengths and this is about going for those hopes dreams and wishes because i definitely feel there is one concrete path one concrete door that's opening for you the pentacles energy is your conscious reality you can touch it you can feel it you can see it um and it's bringing in the rainbow of blessings i just feel this is about staying strong you know and we 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 need our strength in times of change in times of adversity this is when we have to step up and rise to the challenge you know and go for the things that we want to go for now that we're being aligned to by that tower energy and i feel for some of you there is some news information coming your way it's aligning you to this rainbow of blessings it's aligning you to the right path oh that's beautiful reading virgo absolutely beautiful reading okay so final message for virgo please angels spirits guides final message for virgo yeah <laughs> i love it golden unicorn ascension awaken to your soul's potential isn't that beautiful you know virgo this is so lovely frog stepping into your power don't take a back seat in your story it's time to step up and that's that strength card the resoluteness in the face of adversity or fear to actually focus on those dreams because for some of you this is divine wish fulfillment there is definitely an energy of you are being line to something that is going to bring you joy maybe for you your family your home um but this is a beautiful energy and it's a blessed energy wow so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you virgo and i will see you next time thank you